Greetings fellow interloper, Taylor here. After taking a look at the many recipes available to us in No Man's Sky, I decided it would be fun to do a video featuring five super weird ones. If you're a newer player, not to worry. We'll go through the simple process on how to cook. Keep in mind that with many recipes in the game, there are many ways to make them, so if you're curious on alternative ways to make certain ingredients, definitely check out the Assistant to No Man's Sky app. My subscribers have a wide variety of experience with the game, so let me quick get everybody on the same page. Hey, while we're talking about subscribers, I just want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to my first two members of Club Whiskey, as well as Michael Anderson, who has been a loyal subscriber on Ko-Fi. Thanks so much, guys. All right, let's get into it. The nutrient processor allows you to cook hundreds of different recipes based on which ingredients you put together. These can be found on various planets, as well as feeding fauna for eggs and milk, or well, putting them down for various meat products. After you get your desired byproduct, you can then use these to make more elaborate concoctions. After you've cooked your creation, you then take it to Kronos on the Anomaly, and he'll pay you nanites for sampling your creations. Well, most of the time. What are you? An idiot sandwich. So the amount of nanites you get from each recipe is kind of dependent on its complexity, as well as overall what he thinks about it, which can vary substantially. Don't worry, there's no right or wrong way to cook your food. Like many things in the game, you just hope the RNG gods are good to you. The optimal way to prepare to make recipes is just to collect ingredients as you go. As you can see, once you build a nutrient processor, which is unlocked at the blueprints terminal on the anomaly, it does have an area for ingredient storage. So once you harvest ingredients from planets, you can head back to your base or freighter and store those without taking up room in other inventories. If you really plan on cooking a lot, you can even build an automated feeder as well as a livestock unit. The feeder takes up to 25 or so creature pellets and gradually feeds local wildlife. The livestock unit will harvest whatever the fauna drops, like eggs or milk. You can then go do other stuff and then return to collect all of your ingredients. Pretty handy. Now, trust me, some find cooking tedious and boring and quite frankly, have never tried. But then again, some really love hunting down ingredients and cooking hundreds of different recipes to try and impress Cronus. This video is obviously for the latter group. Now that we have the basics down, let's get into it. These five recipes all contain a common ingredient, which we'll learn how to make, and that's none other than everyone's favorite, whaling batter. Well, no, 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 not that, not that kind of whaling batter. To make whaling batter, we'll combine sweetened butter with refined flour and one larval core. Butter is easy enough to make. All you need to do is collect milk. You'll turn that into cream, which then turns into butter. You'll then just add sugar to the butter for, you guessed it, sweetened butter. Now for the sugar, you have a few options. You could process strawberries, sweet root, or cactus nectar. Lastly, the refined flour can be made with heptaploid wheat, or you can throw frost crystal in the processor to get glass grains. You then put the glass grains in, and those actually process into flour. All right, so starting off our list of weird recipes, is none other than the appalling jam sponge. To make this, we'll combine our whaling batter with cream, which is processed milk, and add gras jam, which is processed strawberries, along with sugar. And you find strawberries only on irradiated planets, so keep that in mind. Coming in at number four, we have the whaling caramel cake. The recipe for this is taking our whaling batter and combining it with crunchy caramel. To make crunchy caramel, you just combine salt with either root juice or sugar. Root juice is what you'll get if you process pulpy roots. Number three on our weird recipes list is perfect for your next Halloween party, and that's the gooey screamer. This is made with whaling batter and sticky honey. As you can see, once you make a big batch of whaling batter, it has a ton of uses. And if you're having company with a discerning taste, you can't go wrong with the choking monstrosity cake. 
To make this oddly named recipe, you'll take your whaling batter and add a little cactus nectar, which is just processed cactus flesh. Easy peasy. And now, for our number one, you know it, you love it, it's time to make the apple cake of lost souls. For this, we'll start with, well, you guessed it, whaling batter, add some cream, and finish it off with some wriggling jam. Wriggling jam is made by taking a harvested crab apple and adding some sugar. Now that we've made a few of each, let's head to the anomaly to see what Cronus thinks about each one. Now, I've made five of these, so let's see which one has the highest average. All right, well, coming in at last place is our appalling jam sponge, which didn't overwhelm him exactly. We didn't get zero on anything, but yet we did receive four 40 nanite payouts and one 70 nanite payout for an average of 46 nanites per. Now, we did have a little bit better luck with the whaling caramel cake. We started with 40, and then we got two 129s, which is the highest you can get for a recipe. We got another 40, and we finished strong with another 129. So we more than doubled our average for a 93.4 nanite payout. Next, with the gooey screamer, we did fall back down to earth a little bit, just not his thing. We got a 40, 70, 40, and then we did finish strong with a couple 129s. But our average fell to 81.6, for the gooey screamer. And for our number two, the choking monstrosity cake was not quite his thing either. We got a 70, a 129, a 70, a 40, and then another 129 for an 87.6 average nanite payout. Well, not bad. But we finish very strong with the apple cake of lost souls, which earned three 129s, and the lowest we got were 70 nanites. So we had an average of 105.4 not too shabby. So if you're looking to get creative and just take a break from the normal routine of ship scrapping or other ways to create nanites, you might want to give cooking a shot. And just by testing all of these, I earned over 2,000 nanites. So yeah, you can earn some serious nanites with the right recipes. Let me know what you guys think. It's probably not the most efficient way to earn nanites, but you know, it can be a nice break from your normal routine if you feel like mixing it up while exploring the universe. Hopefully you'll give this a try and have a little fun with it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, signing off.